Good morning, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, morning headlines on January 10th, 2023. Egypt gets Brexit boost from British sunseekers. The independent, couple who swapped UK for Egypt to avoid cost of living say they've made a profit. The independent, can a month-long package holiday in the sun work out cheaper than staying at home? To his fans he's a pragmatist. To the rest of us, Rish, is an accident in waiting. The Guardian, Rishi Sunak has abandoned Tory pledge on workers' rights, says former job czar. Dr. Dre deplores, hateful, Marjorie Taylor Greene using his song in removed video. The Guardian, Drive Dre forces US politician Marjorie Taylor Greene to remove promo video. BBC, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene tweet pulled by Dr. Dre legal team. 11 Alive, five times musicians have said no to politicians using their music. The Independent, Dr. Dre sends cease and desist to Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene over still DRE use. Israel Security Minister bans Palestinian flag flying in public. The Guardian, Israeli restrictions on Palestinian flags repressive. Amnesty. Al Monitor, Israel accused of trying to topple the Palestinian Authority, as it bans public waving of Palestinian flag. The Independent, Arab legislator may cooperate with Netanyahu's government. Al Monitor, Israel's Ben Gvir orders police to take down Palestinian flags, testing limits of his authority. Sinkholes swallow cars as torrential rain batters California, and another powerful storm is coming. Sky News, California, sinkhole swallows mother and daughter driving in storm. Metro.co.uk, video depicts the rescue of two people trapped inside chats with sinkhole. KCAL News, crews work to stabilize ground near massive sinkhole in Chatsworth. KTLA Los Angeles, video, sinkhole swallows two cars in Los Angeles in massive storm. Brian Koberg a vigil rumors debunked as links to victims still unknown, live. The Independent, how police tracked down the Idaho murder suspect. Washington Post, Idaho murders, what we know about University of Idaho students' deaths and suspect Brian Koberger. CBS News, Idaho murders, update, Kaylee Gonkar's sister brand's killer, true evil, amid Brian Koberger stalker claim. The Independent, Idaho students' case, Idaho murder suspect arrested, Idaho case live updates, English news. Meta denies African content moderator firm exit poses risk. BBC, Meta's East African content moderation hub shuts down. Financial Times, Meta's African content moderation partner closes down operations. Yahoo Finance, key Meta moderation partner shuts down hub handling harmful content. Business Insider, Meta's biggest content moderator in Africa ends service following lawsuits. Russia-Ukraine war at a glance, what we know on day 321 of the invasion. The Guardian, Russia-Ukraine war, list of key events, day 321. Al Jazeera English, Kremlin says West reacted cynically to Christmas ceasefire. Reuters, Russia vs Ukraine war updates, Russia-Ukraine war timeline, English news, Latest news, News 18. Gas stove ban raised after air pollution linked to childhood asthma. The Independent, U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission to consider gas stove ban, USA Today. USA Today, no ban of gas stoves is planned, head of U.S. Safety Agency says. Bloomberg, what the potential ban on gas stoves means if you have one. German mother accused of joining Islamic State and keeping Yazidi woman as a slave to go on trial. Andrew Tate, live, influencer continues to reach millions of followers despite arrest and court case. The Independent, Andrew Tate appears in court over rape and human trafficking charges. Sky News, why millions of men admire internet misogynist Andrew Tate. Vox.com, who is Andrew Tate? All you need to know about the influencer arrested in Romania. The Independent, kickboxer Andrew Tate back quote s shocking confessions, know everything about controversy, his net worth and investigation. Tucker Carlson under fire for backing Brazil Bolsonaro riot. The Independent, Brazil's failed coup is the poison flower of the Trump-Bolsonaro symbiosis. The Guardian, two years after the capital riots in the US, Brazil now faces the reality democracy can be very fragile.
Sky News, the many similarities between Brazilian politics and the United States. MPs and peers should declare links to firms they back for contracts, says now. Vatican reopens investigation into teenager who went missing in 1983. The Guardian, Vatican will hold inquiry into fate of missing girl. The Times, Vatican girl mystery, Pope orders new investigation into missing teen. Euronews, Emanuela Orlandi, Vatican reopens investigation into teen's 1983 disappearance. The Independent, Vatican begins probe over teen who went missing 40 years ago. 10 most common COVID symptoms in last month as new variant spreads. The Independent, bivalent COVID vaccines have now been in use for a few months. Here's how they're stacking up against Omicron. The conversation, where are the next COVID treatments? WSJ. The Wall Street Journal, COVID cases in your area as infections spread across UK. The Independent, the Kraken COVID variant taking hold in the US. Here's how many vaccine shots there are and what experts recommend to protect yourself. Iran executions, UK summons top diplomat in protest at killings. BBC, Middle East matters, new executions in Iran, UN says regime weaponizing death penalty to frighten public. France 24 English, Iranian revolutionary Gadiani decries state killings of protesters under bloodthirsty leadership. Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, UN rights chief laments weaponized executions of Iran protesters. Anadolu Agency, English, Iran is using executions to crush dissent and quell protests, says UN. Ozone layer may be restored in decades, UN report says. BBC, fantastic news, ozone layer on track to recover within decades, UN reports. Euronews, Earth's ozone layer is on track to recover completely in four decades. The Indian Express, ozone layer may be restored in decades, UN report says, BBC News. BBC News, fantastic news, ozone layer on track to recover within decades, UN reports. Casa de Vetti in Pompeii reopens after 20 years, in pictures. The Guardian, House of the Vetti, Pompeii home owned by former slaves reopens. BBC, stunning Pompeii house owned by two ex-slaves opens to public. Tokyo lodges protest after China punishes Japanese travelers over COVID test requirements. The Guardian, China blocks Japan and South Korea visitors over COVID rules, BBC News. BBC News, China blocks visas for S Korea and Japan over COVID restrictions. BBC, Japan, S Korea protest China visa stoppage amid COVID spat. The Independent, China, Beijing retaliates against curbs on travelers, latest news, international news, WION. Newport News, what happens to a six-year-old who shoots someone? BBC, six-year-old student shot teacher with gun legally purchased by his mother. The Independent, boy, six, who shot Virginia teacher used mother's legally owned gun, police say. Sky News, when a little boy shoots his teacher, America's gun laws have failed them both. Cruel and cold, man faces backlash for dousing unhoused woman with water. The Guardian, San Francisco art gallery owner defends hosing down homeless woman. The Times, viral video, US man sprays water on homeless woman to remove her. NDTV, viral video of San Francisco man hosing homeless woman sparks outrage. The Washington Post, video shows San Francisco gallery owner spraying homeless woman with hose. Cardinal Pell's death brings few tears in Australia. BBC, Cardinal George Pell, look back at his highs and lows. The age and Sydney Morning Herald, Pell will always be seen as a servant of the church, not its flock. Syrian refugee Sarah Mardini whose story inspired Netflix drama The Swimmers goes on trial in farcical human smuggling case. Sky News, Greece prosecutes 24 humanitarian aid workers, charges include espionage and forgery, DW News. DW News, Greek trial of 24 rescuers who saved migrants in Med begins. BBC, their inspiring story became a Netflix film, now one of them is on trial. The Independent, Greece, trial of 24 volunteer migrant rescuers begins. Biodiversity, 
rising tide of extinctions on Madagascar. BBC, Madagascar's unique wildlife faces imminent wave of extinction, say scientists. The Guardian, plea to save Madagascan wildlife that would take 23 million years to replace. The Times, extinctions, may threaten Madagascar's biodiversity for 23 million years. The Independent, Madagascar faces millions of years of extinctions due to human activity, scientists say. Ellen DeGeneres shares footage of raging torrent as storm hits star-studded Montecito, this is crazy. The Independent, Ellen DeGeneres posts video of flood in Montecito, California, California floods live updates. CNN News 18, Montecito mudslide, Harry and Meghan's town hit by deadly flash flooding. The Times, thousands ordered to evacuate as deadly rainstorm causes heavy floods in California, video. The Guardian, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle ordered to leave California home as spare released. Banks and countries pledge over $9 billion to rebuild Pakistan after catastrophic floods. The Guardian, Pakistan receives over $9 billion in aid after devastating floods. The Independent, Pakistan PM says, deeply moved by compassion, of donors at Geneva. Al Jazeera English, Pakistan secures more than $9 billion of pledges for post-flood recovery. Financial Times, Pakistani PM reports global pledges of $9.7 billion in flood aid. Biden surprised about classified files discovery at former office. BBC, how the Biden-Trump classified documents cases are different. BBC, did Biden also illegally hoard top-secret documents? The Spectator, Biden's classified records headache is Garland special counsel nightmare. Oceans were the hottest ever recorded in 2022, analysis shows. The Guardian, Europe and polar regions hit worst by global warming in 2022 BBC News. BBC News, natural, man-made factors behind New Zealand's hottest year. The Independent, climate change, Europe and polar regions bear brunt of warming in 2022. Woman who died after waiting seven hours in Ur told husband she thought she was dying. The Independent, emergency room death highlights Canadian healthcare crisis. The Guardian, NS. Woman dies after waiting for medical care in hospital Ur. CBC News, woman who died after waiting for seven hours told husband she thought she was dying. The Independent, NS. Government says no legal action over social media post about woman's hospital death. Paris attack, man shot by police after stabbing six at Gare du Nord. Sky News, Paris Gare du Nord stabbing attack leaves six injured, BBC News. BBC News, Gare du Nord, six people injured in stabbing attack. BBC, police open fire after knife attack at Paris Gare du Nord. The local France, Paris knife attack, six wounded in rush hour stabbing at Gare du Nord. California storms, live, flash flood warning in San Francisco after Montecito and Santa Barbara evacuations. The Independent, life-threatening storms bring heavy rain and flooding to California, BBC News. BBC News, California storm, mass evacuations underway. BBC, California floods, sinkhole opens up in Chatsworth during deadly US storm. The Telegraph, California weather tracker, where are extreme storms headed? Soaring food and energy prices could persist for next two years. The Guardian, Davos report, cost of living crisis overshadows climate. The Independent, cost of living crisis is top immediate risk for Davos elite. Bloomberg, global experts worry simultaneous crises could become the new norm. CNN, cost crisis threatens to overshadow need to act on climate change, report. Lutzerath eviction, German police drag climate protesters from coal village. BBC, police evict climate activists squatting in village to prevent coal mine expansion. Guardian News, German riot police start removing Luetzerath village activists blocking coal mine expansion. Sky News, German village becomes climate flashpoint over painful coal revival. Financial Times, German climate activists clash with police in last stand to block coal mine. Suicide bomb attack kills at least 20 outside Afghan foreign ministry in Kabul. Sky News, deadly, suicide, blast outside Afghan foreign ministry in Kabul. Al Jazeera English, 
breaking, at least three killed, eight injured in blast at Taliban's foreign ministry in Kabul. WION, suicide blast kills at least five outside Afghan foreign ministry. Reuters, explosion outside Afghan foreign ministry in Kabul causes casualties. Ukraine News, live, Putin admits, difficult, situation in eastern regions as Solidar battle rages. The Independent, Ukraine denies claim Russia controls town of Solidar, BBC News. BBC News, Solidar, Ukraine battle hints at rift in pro-Russian forces. BBC, Russian soldiers capture destroyed Ukrainian town of Solidar where Britons went missing. The Telegraph, Ukraine says mining town holding out against Russian assault. A great day for the country, Uganda declares an end to Ebola outbreak. The Guardian, WHO, officials say Uganda's latest Ebola outbreak is over. The Independent, Uganda's Ebola outbreak over after doctors report no new cases for six weeks. The Telegraph, Uganda declares end of Ebola virus outbreak. UN News, Uganda declares end to latest Ebola outbreak after four months. Further delays to US flights expected after FAA issue. BBC, live, all US flights grounded due to technical glitch. The Independent, watch, planes turn back for airports as all flights in US grounded, tracker shows. The Independent, US flights resuming after FAA alert system outage causes disruption. The Guardian, normal flight operations resuming following major outage. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.